Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials, and welcome to your 16th GIMP tutorial. Now, I know that I've been, um, you know, not making a lot of videos recently, but, you know, I've been really busy and all that, so I'm back now. Anyway, uh, the pass tool is right here. Um, let me see. Um, there's three modes for this. There's design, edit, and move. So you're going to want to have design selected for this right now. And it's going to be like the free select tool. Now, um, it's almost exactly like it, but there's one, um, not a small difference, a very big difference. Um, it's going to make a path instead of a selection. Now, a path is, uh, depending on what you want to do, um, it might be a lot more useful than the free select tool. A path, you can, um, it's not a selection, um, but it's like a, I guess it's a path, <laughs> but you can make selections from a path. You can uh, make a line out of a path. Um, it's called stroke path. There's this button right here, but it's grayed out right now. So um, you can also save paths, and then you can import and export them. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do with them. I'm not going to show you all this in one tutorial, but anyway. Um, so you have design selected. Now let's get clicking. So you're going to want to click somewhere. This is going to make a node. Now, if I click somewhere else, like right here or something, it's going to make another node and it's going to make a segment between the two nodes. Now, um, if I click somewhere else, it's going to, you know, make another node and another segment and so on and so on. But let's say I click somewhere. And then I drag my mouse pointer while I'm holding um, the button down. It's going to make a curve. Now, this curve is like a bezier curve or something like that. I don't know. But it's going to make um, this segment right here. It's going to be a curve. And then it's going to have these two handles coming out of the node. Now, these handles have square edges or ends or whatever instead of the circle ones. So, um, let me see. So if you um, try to like move, um, let's say I try to move this handle, it's going to affect the curve. But as you can see, when I was moving it before, both of these handles were symmetrical on opposite ends, but now they're not. Um, so let's say that you want to um, get them symmetrical again. All you gotta do is hold down shift and then drag and it's going to be perfectly symmetrical again. So, um, let's say you, oh, let me see, I have a note card full of keyboard shortcuts I gotta show you during, um, this tutorial, so anyway, uh, showed you that one, let me see, okay, so, let's say I'm clicking and I want to actually finish this path, I can't click on the node that I started with, if I do, um, it'll just select this node instead. So anyway, if I select the last node I made, um, to f actually um, connect these two nodes, you're going to want to hold down control and click, and it's going to finish the path. Now, um, before I make a selection from this path, and by the way, all you gotta do is like click this button right here, so it's really easy, or you can hit enter, so that's nice. But, um... Let's say I want to select a node to move. All I have to do is click and I can drag these nodes to move. I cannot move the handles right now. Um, that is what the edit mode is for. Um, so anyway, but you can do a couple other things. If you want to move um, multiple nodes at the same time, all you got to do is uh, select one of the nodes by clicking on it, hold down shift, and click on all the other nodes you want to move. So then, once you uh, drag, it's going to move only the ones I selected. Um, or you selected, I guess. So, if you want to move everything, hold down Control and Alt, and this is going to literally move this entire path. Um, so also, another thing I want to tell you really quick, and it's really important, um, if I get the Paths tool after I made a path, I can actually make another path, but there's one um, really important thing you need to learn right now. These two paths are actually the same path. Um, so yeah, they are the exact 
like the same path. Um, later on in the second part of this tutorial, you can actually treat it as the same path, but um, they are. I think they're called like uh, two different. Um, what oh, man? What you called it? Uh, they're two different. Not occurrences, but there's something you call, a component. Yeah, a component. Um, these two things are two separate components. So, um, you can. So let's say if I try to move everything in this component, um, by hitting Control and Alt, it's just going to move this component. This other one isn't going to be affected, even though they are the same path. Now, um, if I just um, switch back, because Control Z is too much right now, so, anyway, moving on, um, if I, like, make a path, and then, um, if I go to the edit mode, and one thing, so if you have design mode, um, and you want to switch to something real quick, you can hold down control, like, control, and it'll, um, go to edit, or you can hit move, and it'll, um, go to, um, if you hit the alt key, it'll select move, but you have to hold it down, so that's why sometimes you either want to hold it down, or you actually want just want to click, but anyway, um, right now, I have the edit open right now, so you can, uh, let me see, you can, um, if I want to remove a node, all I have to do is hold down shift and control, and click on whatever node I want to remove. Now, if I want to remove a whole um, segment, all I have to do is just hold down Shift and Control and click on a segment. Now, this is going to make just like this open path. It's not even going to be on like a complete path right now. If I want to, um, if I want to uh, put a segment in between here again, all I have to do is click on one node and click on the other, and bam, it's done. It's really neat. So, anyway, let me see. Gotta look at this note card again. Um, yeah, you can, if you click and drag, you can actually move the handles. Um, and there's one, oh yeah, and also you can make it symmetrical if you wanna. Um, another thing, let me see. You can, um, by clicking in the middle of the segment, you can add a node and, uh, you can't, uh, like, um, also another thing, if you want to move, um, any of this stuff, you can just, like, move and it'll, um, move this entire, um, what, component. So, um, so yeah, there's that and a couple other things I want to tell you right now. So, if I have the design mode open and I'm clicking, um, Let's say I want to um, just make a completely new component over here. All I have to do is hold down shift, and when I click, it won't be connected to the last one I click. So then I can just keep clicking along. Um, also, let me see. Oh yeah, and also sometimes, um, like, if you accidentally select another node and then you try to click, it might just make a random one like that. So um, instead, you got to select it and then you click and it'll um, just go like that. So anyway, uh, let me see. Okay. Um, let me see some more uh, keyboard shortcuts to tell you about. Oh yeah, also. Okay, so let's say I make this really ugly looking thing. So now, if I go to edit mode, and let's say I, um, you know, uh, make a handle or something, uh, just by clicking and dragging. Let's say I want to remove this handle, all I have to do is hold down control and shift, and click on the handle, and it'll be instantly removed. And there's another thing I want to tell you about handles. Let's say I'm in edit mode, um, or design mode, or any other mode, I guess, and if I click, um, I want to tell you about these handles. Um, if you hold down shift, it's going to move um, symmetrically, um, so it'll look like that or something. But let's say I just want to move one node. It's only going to affect that side of the actual, um, like, it's only going to affect this curve if I do this. It's not going to affect this one. Um, that's why there's two separate handles for the two 
separate sides of the node. So as you can see here, there's a node here, a node here, and a node here. So this handles right here by default. It'll only move that curve. It's not going to move this other curve, vice versa. So that's just one thing I wanted to uh, make sure you guys got. Also, let me see. Uh, let me see. Actually, I think there was a couple other things I wanted to tell you. Let's say I'm doing something. I think this works in design mode. If I click and I drag a segment, it's just going to make a curve like this. Now, as you can see, there isn't a node in the middle of this curve. It's literally just dragging the curve. And also, if I want to do something really cool, hold down shift, it's going to make the handles on this curve symmetrical. So it looks very weird right now. Um, I'm not sure why this is useful, but if you ever need it in the future, now you have it. So, uh, let me see, there's yet more keyboard shortcuts to tell you about. Uh, let me just see. So, if I'm in edit mode, um, actually, no, if I'm not, if I'm in the move mode, and let's say I have a complete, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, component, uh, and if I can just move this entire thing, um, but let's say if I have another component, uh, design mode, um, this right here, it's, if I click on this one, it's only going to move this one, uh, but there's another thing I want to tell you, if you hold down shift, you can move all of the components in that same path at the same time, or if you don't click on any of them at all and you just click outside not outside, I guess, but like not on, you know, the actual uh, path right here, like not on any segments or nodes, you can actually just move everything. So, uh, let me see, I think I, actually I didn't. Um, so if I hit right now, so, uh, let, selection from path, it's going to take both of these components, which are in the same path, and it's going to make a selection out of them. Um, and actually, as you can see, if I select none, these uh, the path is actually still there. So you can treat this like a normal, uh, you know, selection right now. You can erase, and it'll only erase in the selection, and blah and blah and blah. But um, there was another thing I wanted to tell you. I think. Um, oh yeah. So if I. Oh man. Um, sometimes when you do control C, you can actually lose the path, but you don't really use lose it. Um, it's actually hidden somewhere. I'm just going to have to tell you this in the next tutorial. But anyway, if I am making a path really quick, uh, and I want to uh, make a stroke along um, this path, just hit stroke path, do whatever you want. You can have a solid color, or you can have like a really pa weird pattern, I guess, anti-aliasing. You can have the line width and... All that chunk but as you can see it's going to make a stroke along this path so now um, if I just um, don't use that tool anymore you can see that this is literally just a stroke exactly um, along that path if I had a curve you would actually see the curve so that's really nice um, there's only one more thing I swear uh, let me see yeah polygonal so Polygonal is literally the exact same thing. Nothing um, changes, except if I um, click and drag, it's not going to make handles and a curve. It's literally just going to move it. It's going to be a straight line everywhere you go. None of these segments will be curves. They're just straight lines. So that's what polygonal does. You can just make polygons. So um, anyway, I think that is all for this tutorial. If I missed anything, don't worry, because I'm going to include a link in the description, and it's going to go to GIMP.org, and it, there's some documentation about this, so um, if there's anything I missed, you can study it there, I guess, because that explains it really well, but um, let me see, I think that's all, so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.